Raw Deal was the film which brought John Irvin back to the Hollywood scene. I dare say fans of Turtle Diary and Champions got whiplash just watching this film. Remember how I said that Dogs of War's climax felt like a cheap knockoff of an 80s action film? Well, this is that cheap 80s action film I was talking about, and I didn't even know it. And fresh off of Commando, we have Arnold Schwarzenegger in the lead role. The film is ridiculous. It's porn for the 80s action fan, and not even the good quality porn. The story is over the top and full of holes. The bland list of characters is comprised of Arnold Schwarzenegger and everyone else. The movie exists to put guns in people's hands so that they can shoot and kill or shoot and be killed. Oh, and it also exists to put Arnold Schwarzenegger in fancy clothes. There's vague details about names and character backgrounds so that we don't completely forget we're watching a movie. And then if we sit through the whole film, we get an action scene that's so ridiculous it involves a topless car blasting a Rolling Stones song over a massacre of movie extras. Not to say the film is totally awful and past redemption. The film's action sequences are well filmed, especially for a first-time action director like John Irvin. And there's a few funny lines here and there. Honestly, though, it's Schwarzenegger who makes this film somewhat bearable. Arnold's not a great actor, but he's got a charm that keeps a huge fan base flocking to his side. I didn't really enjoy the movie, but I enjoyed watching him in it. There's such a contagious enjoyment that he's getting out of being in this film, and it helps us overlook the obvious story flaws and bland characters. Fans of Schwarzenegger will not be disappointed in this film. Well, they might be disappointed in the film, but certainly not with Arnold's performance. Funnily enough, I'm more interested in the production history of this movie than the movie itself. Producer Dino De Laurentiis was sitting on the rights to a movie called Total Recall. He didn't have the money to make it, so he decided to make a cheap action film which would make enough money for him to put into the Total Recall project. Arnold Schwarzenegger was brought in as the lead of this movie despite his intense interest in the Total Recall project. Dino didn't want Arnold in the role and put him in Raw Deal instead. In a twist of fate, the movie's modest earnings and mixed reaction caused Dino to sell away the rights to Total Recall, which was eventually made with Schwarzenegger in the role after all. John Irvin, meanwhile, directed this film, and he moved on immediately to a film which reflected his own personal experiences as well as returning him to the war film genre. That film was Hamburger Hill. <laughs> 